What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot and fix this Vizio LCD uh, LED TV. It's a LCD panel with LED backlight. Uh, the model number is XVT3D. This is a common repair. It has no power, um, the buttons do not respond. If you hit the power button on the TV, you get nothing. If you hit the power button on the remote, you get nothing. So let's go ahead and um, try to fix this TV. Now, in my last video, I showed you how to troubleshoot this TV, how to read voltages, and we narrowed it down to the main logic board. Then I'm gonna put my red lead on pin one, and it's labeled pin one right here. There's a number one next to that pin. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're getting five volts, and it's steady. Now, if it was jumping up and down, the five volts, you check the power, um, capacitors and make sure the capacitors are not bad because that would cause the voltage to drop and uh, also the voltage regulator that would cause that to drop all, as well first thing you want to do is unplug the power cord okay now um, understand when I read my 5 volt standby voltage the TV was not on it couldn't power on so I was just had the TV plugged in and reading the standby voltage so even if the TV is broken you should get 5 volt standby voltage going to the main logic board and to open these you just Get your fingernail, lift up, get your fingernail under this, lift up on the latch, and slide that out. And then this right here, you want to grab it by the sides and wiggle that out. Don't grab the wire right here and pull it out because you can pull out the wires. So make sure you grab the connector and pull it out. Don't pull on this, make sure you lift up the latch, then you pull that, that out. If you want to save yourself some time and aggravation, you could just order the main logic board for around $100 with the warranty, but it's out of stock currently. Or you get the repair kit. Sometimes the repair kit for a Vizio TV consists of two ICs. Uh, the one I got was to consist of one IC that fixes the power related issue. The TV repair kit, roughly between $20 and $30. There's no warranty, but it tells you what TV problems they would fix. I'll leave that link in the video description below. All right, so now we're gonna repair the main logic board for the Vizio TV, and it's under here. Let's go ahead and remove this. It's the micro screw. You just need a micro screwdriver like this one. So now we're gonna flip it over, and we're gonna turn these like that. And make sure you have a solder iron that's uh, at least some over 50 watts. It's going to be really difficult to remove the solder. Alright, so now I'm going to use some flux right here. And I'm just going to wipe it on the solder joints on the IC right here. You don't want to lift up on the IC because you can tear the solder joints and it traces right off the board. And this can take a while, so you got to be really patient with it. There we go. Now you want to take your desoldering wire and you want to clean up the contacts. So you want to locate the dimple on the IC and you want to put it next to the white dot on the board. That is pin one. So we're going to go ahead and center it right here. Right there. A magnifying glass really helps. Alright, so there's two different kinds of solder paste. In my last video I used lead free solder paste. It was a little bit sloppy, didn't like it. The, the nozzle is really thick. So I tried a different brand, and this is uh, with lead. 
it's on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get it at. And you just take off the um, cap, red cap right here, push the plunger in right here. And then there's like a, another cap, you take off the black cap. And then this thing just, it just twists on, see? You just twist that on like that. And then this is just the cover. And you can tell this is a little better, it's a lot better uh, nozzle. Now, just to prep it, to make the solder bond to the solder pad, you can use uh, a flux pen right here. And then push down and then just like that, all the way across. And you can do the same thing with for the other side. All right. Now this is an advanced solder skill, soldering ICs, and it's even difficult for me, I'll be honest. This is actually still too thick, this nozzle, in my opinion. I kind of wish it was thinner, but maybe I could spread it. There we go, I should just spread it out, just like that. Do the other side. Let's heat it up. I'm going to put it on middle setting, heat it up like that, and just wave it back and forth, and it should bond. Yeah, the leaded solder paste looks like it heats up quicker. And just slowly go across. All right, now we see we got a couple bridges right there, solder bridges, and it's easy to fix. Only thing you have to do is get a desoldering braid and fix that. <clears throat> Put it on low, make sure you have it on low. And do the same thing for this side as well. And just run it all the way down. And I'm going to dip it in flux and see if that helps. You don't want to breathe that stuff in. There we go. There we go. You just press down. Make sure you don't move the IC. If it looks good, put it back together. Flip it over and solder the heat shield in. Okay, let's test it out on the connectors. On the ribbon connectors, make sure the line is facing up and when you close the latch, it covers the line. All right, I'm gonna plug it in and see what happens. If this does not fix the TV, I'm just gonna order the main logic board, be done with it. Cause I'm not wasting any more time on, on this old TV. All right, hit the power button. And, oh, someone's pissed off. I don't hear anything going on. Yep, I still got that red light, or orange light, I mean. It's not turning on. It's doing the same thing. Well, the TV is still broken. The main logic board is still bad. We know it's the main logic board because we checked it in the last video. I have my five volt standby voltage from the power supply going to the main logic board. And when I hit power, there's no return voltage going to the power supply turning on the high voltage in the TV. So the main logic board is not responding. Um, 
the repair kit said that it would fix that issue with the power issue and it, in my case it did not fix that, that issue not saying the repair kit doesn't fix issues like that it just didn't fix my issue now with the repair kit yes it's around like 20 or 30 dollars um, but you're going to need um, tools you're going to need the proper tool, tools like the heat blower and uh, the solder paste and stuff like that flux uh, you're going to need a patience definitely patience you're going to need time because it's going to take a whole lot more time uh, versus um, just swapping out boards and you're going to need skill so not everyone with um, those tools can just swap out these the, that IC and then get the TV up and running and even if you do all that it's not guaranteed that you would actually fix your TV that repair kit does not work hundred percent of the time now if you order the main logic board yes you spend seventy five dollars more it's around a hundred dollars or so on Amazon, eBay, or shopjimmy.com. That comes with a, a board, TV board, a warranty. I prefer that. It's just peace of mind. When I get, order my boards, I have a warranty with it. So swapping out the TV boards may be more beneficial for someone that is just wants to get the TV up and running. They don't have the time and it has other TVs to work on. You can use all that time you save to work on the other TVs and sell them. Swapping out the board does not mean you're not going to make profit. You can still make pr plenty of profit swapping out TV boards. For example, if you found this TV in a dumpster or on the side of the road or someone just donated a TV to you, well, swapping out a $100 board, you have a 50-inch or 47-inch 3D TV for $100. And you could probably sell this TV anywhere between three to $400. So that's plenty of profit. So if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos coming your way, click on this link right here to subscribe to Tampa Tech. And if you want to check out my other TV repair videos, click on the playlist right here. If you want to know anyone that has a broken TV, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them and help someone out. Thanks guys for watching.